the CBC train has already left the station. A day after the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Judge Magoha, launched the competency-based curriculum policy at KCD, the Kenya National Union of Teachers has said no amount of intimidation and coercion will deter the union's quest to push for order and sanity in curriculum reform process. Speaking at the NAT headquarters in Nairobi, NAT Secretary General Wilson Sosion noted that the pilot phase of the project should have been evaluated first before proceeding. The Teacher Service Commission is not the independent constitutional commission that we fought for. With the arrogance and the obstinance that we have seen, the impunity that it is applying in molesting and intimidating teachers is going contrary to the spirit of the constitution. According to Socion, the rollout of the CBC was without a legitimate policy framework and necessary statutory instruments born out of public participation. Socion noted that the ongoing rollout of CBC is illegal in nature and violates the constitution. Mutula Kilonzo never abused us. Those who are elected men and women, we can name. Kalonzo Musioka never abused us. Joseph Kamogo never abused us. What is this group of species of the Magoas of this world who are arrogant and we even don't know where they come from? And that is why this government will fail because of this group of people. Sosion has accused the Teacher Service Commission and the Ministry of Education for using the curriculum as a business opportunity to do away with public schools in place of private schools who have enough facilities to carry on with the curriculum. In fact, it is an elitist strategy to destroy the poor and use the poor as, 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 as a business source because you compel a huge population to shift from public to private education, which they cannot afford. But even as the scaffold between the two stakeholders continue, will the Kenya National Union of Teachers retreat from the fight? Claims of facing out public schools to promote business for private schools, as well as inadequate training of teachers, is the current opposition placed by the Kenya National Union of Teachers. Question is, Will the rollout of CBC be successful? And if so, will the teachers fully back it? Jamie Kiboy for KUTV in Nairobi County.